Hello, good afternoon everyone. I welcome you back to my YouTube channel. Uh, presenting before you this wonderful tutorial is Javier Kliman, your mentor. So we do have a very interesting question on uh, trigonometric identities. And we have been asked to prove that 2 tan x minus sine uh, 2x over 2 sine squared x is equal to tan x. All right, let's get started. So, in order for us to prove this, with a proof or solution. So, in order for us to prove this, first of all, let me rewrite the question. So, we have 2 tan x minus sine 2x over 2 sine squared x this must equal to tan x okay so the best way to go about this question is to choose which side you really want to prove between the two so we can choose the left hand side we can also choose the right hand side okay whichever way you want uh, to, to, to do it it will give you the answer so I'm going to choose my left hand side because this is what seems to be simple for me so on my left I, I have I have 2 tan x minus sine 2x over 2 sine 2 x but then there are certain trick identities that you must be able to know the first one is sine squared x plus cosine squared x this must equal to 1 okay the second one is sine 2 theta is equal to this is just the same as 2 sine theta cosine theta it's very much important to know these trig identities so and at, 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 at the same time, we also know that since we have tan of x here, we can also uh, create a trig identity there. We also know that tan x, tan x is equal to sine x over cosine x, like that. So this simply means that while there is tan x, we can replace with this so that we can have two sine x over cosine x minus sine 2x everything by 2 sine squared x like that okay from there from here um i'm sure you know that this 2 sine 2x is affecting everything here and everything here. So we are able to expand everything so that we can distribute these 2 sine 2x uh, 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 in terms of this and at the same time in terms of this. What do I mean? You can say that 2 sine x over cosine x this can be all over 2 sine uh, squared x minus sine to x over 2 sine squared x. Okay? It's just one and the same, right? When we reach here, this can also be written as 2 sine x over 
cosine x this must be divided by 2 sine squared x minus sine 2x over 2 sine squared x like that okay so this is just the same ones 2 just the same as 2 2 sine x over cosine x multiplied by this is 1 over 2 sine squared x minus sine 2x over 2 sine 2x like that so we know that these two and these two can cancel here we are going to remain with one here we are going to remain with only this sign x so this is just the same as one multiplied by one it will be one over cosine x sine x minus sine 2x over 2 sine 2x like that from here okay from here from here when we, we, we have sine 2x on top now remember this trigger identity that I showed you in the first place okay so sine 2 theta can also be written as 2 sine theta cosine theta so meaning this can also be written as 1 over cosine x sine x minus where there is sine 2 theta sine 2 x I'm going to say it's going to be 2 sine x cosine x all over by 2 sine squared x like that these two and this one can go this sine x must go here we are going to remain with just a sign x so now it's getting to be easy we are going to have 1 over cosine x sine x minus this is going to be cosine x over sine x like that what is the common denominator the common denominator is simply cosine x sine x this into this is just 1 minus this into this uh, sine x is going to be cancelled to remain with cosine x multiplied by this it's going to be cosine squared x now remember that trig identity that we had in the first place it's here this is the trig identity therefore if you have sine squared x plus cosine squared x equal to 1 this is just the same as sine squared x equal to 1 minus cosine squared x right so meaning while there is there is this trig identity we can replace with sine squared x so therefore this is just the same as it's just the same as sine squared x over cosine x k over cosine x sine x so we know that this can go and here we are going to remain only with sine x therefore we are going to remain with sine x over cosine x which is equal to tan x okay therefore we can say that tan x on the left hand side is equal to tan x on the right hand side hence shown so this is just how easy this question is
Thank you so much. <laughs>